Well, we're on day one. Um, I've just left home and come down to Canubia, where I'm meeting up with Brian and Ashley uh, for the start of this trip. Our plan for the day is just to start heading west and get out towards hopefully the western side of Gundawindi, somewhere around Boomi, Talwood or Mungandai, somewhere around that area there. Um, we've got about three weeks to complete this trip now. Been a lot of planning go into it to get us to this stage, so I'm kind of excited that we're ready to go and um, looking forward to it. So the plan is we'll head out towards um, Mungandai today, out to Burke the following day, and then we'll just pick up our supplies there that we're going to need for the next few days after that. Then we're going to run out to Cameron Corner via Tibaburra, um, Wanaring, and all those places. And after Tibaburra, we head down towards the Flinders Ranges through the Streslecki Track and um, have a good look around there. We've probably got a bit of time up our sleeve to have three or four days down at the Flinders, which is easy to spend down there. And then after that, we head north again up to Maree. Um, we'll pick up the Udna Data track from there and head up towards Mount Dare. Um, we're going to go in from William Creek and camp on the side of Lake Eyre, which we're really looking forward to because Lake Eyre is full of water at the moment, so it should be good. And uh, from there, we'll head on up to Lake Dare, which is a starting point for our cross crossing the Simpson part of the trip. And then we um, we're going to spend maybe four nights out in the desert three to four nights out in the desert to come across because they say that it's only uh, you have about an average speed of about 20 kilometers an hour when you're trying to cross the simpson desert so the tracks are pretty rough um and then yeah then we'll end up in birdsville after that and then make our way home from there hopefully somewhere around about the 20th of september so looking forward to this trip it's going to be good We're about four hours into the trip now and um, we've come past Warwick, stopped there for a coffee. We're now on our way heading across to Gundawindi. Um, most amazing thing about this here at the moment is that it's so dry. There's hardly any green anywhere you see. I feel sorry for the farmers that have got to try and cut a living out of this country out here. It must be tough. The plan for today is, as I say, we're going to head out to Gundawindi and refuel there. Um, we're going to have a look at the map then and see whether we can make it through to Colorannabri. There's a good free campsite there that I'm hoping to stay at tonight. I don't know if you'll pick up on the, um, the video footage here, but on the side of the road, some little bits of kangaroo. The road kill out here is just phenomenal. so many dead animals they probably come in grazing for a bit of green grass not that there is much but there's some slim pickings along the side of the road and um, never really they get hit by the traffic coming through at night but anyway we just press on we just left Yalabin heading out to Gundawindi actually just saw my first piece of silo art and um, it's impressive when you see it. It's so lifelike to look at. We're starting to get out in the western parts of Queensland now. Roads are starting to straighten out. Getting to see a few emus, lots of dead kangaroos, that sort of thing. another 50 k through to uh, Gundawindi from here. We've made it to the end of day one at Talwood. How was the day, gentlemen? Sorry, same as <laughs> Wonderful. Wasn't bloody working. Wasn't working? <laughs> there you go. Makes all the difference. Time for a scotch, eh? Oh, definitely. Yep. Half time for a scotch. <laughs> In fact, you are around because you kept us going after three o'clock. Oh, there you go. All right, no worries. <laughs>
we've just woken up on day two of the trip in Talwood. Uh, had a good night's sleep. Used Paul his little stretcher cot for the night and that was really, really comfortable. My new sleeping bag was as warm as toast, so I slept really well. Probably the best I've slept on a camping trip for a long, long time. Today's plans to head through to Mungandai, Coloranabri, across to Walgut, Bawarana, and then into Burke. And we're not going to get into Burke in time to, to do a lot, so we'll probably stay there the night and then make plans for the next day from there. We've got to pick up some supplies in Burke because that's going to be pretty much the last major town heading west. Once we get through Tibberborough, Cameron Corner, there's really nothing until we get down to the Flinders Ranges, so we've got to carry enough supplies to get us through to there. We had a few beers around the campfire last night, had a great campfire going. There's lots of wood around here, and um, we've woken up to a beautiful sunny day again, so time to hit the road. Well, we're on day two. We've left Talwood this morning before breakfast, and we're going to head to Coloranabri to have some breggy. We're on the Talwood uh, uh, Mungandai Road now, and um, because it's fairly early in the morning, we're keeping the pace down a little bit because they tend to get a lot of kangaroos still out this time of the morning out here. And um, it's actually hard to see them sometimes because uh, the grey kangaroos that we have out here, and the further out you go, they become red kangaroos. Um, they blend in so well with that um, grey grass that's on the side of the road. And it's funny how your eyes will play tricks on you. You'll see a stump or a branch that'll be sticking up out of the ground and you, you think it's a kangaroo until you get closer. Might have something to do with my failing eyesight. Well, we've just come out of Mungandai to a geographically significant place here in Australia. This is the One Ton Post. And what its significance is, is if you have a look at a map of the border between Queensland and New South Wales, you'll see from Cameron Corner, the border heads in a straight line east to where it meets the Barwon River. And that's the Barwon River down here. Not much of it. But the significance of the post is it's the end of the, um, the straight line of the border.